we go to our cameraman, Josh Owens. Josh, you were there at the Bundy Ranch where the feds stood down because they knew people had firearms. And now you've witnessed this here. Uh, it, it's just incredible. They try to say everybody at Bundy was racist whites. Now they're saying it's racist blacks. No, they're just humans that don't want to be hunted and killed. And I don't want to make the police the enemy either, but they're being given orders and doctrines that are authoritarian and will cause civil war. Josh Owens, InfoWars.com cameraman. Give us your take on what you've witnessed in Ferguson, Missouri. Josh Owens reporting from Ferguson, Missouri. Uh, yeah, I would like to give my, uh, my account of what happened because it's a little bit different than theirs. It all started right back here where we were all together. They start coming in. They start throwing flashbangs, throwing tear gas. Biggs runs over here, gets shot. Jakar runs to the other side of the street, and I run straight down this street right here that you can see behind me. As soon as I start running, they start shooting tear gas all around my feet. And I'm not the healthiest guy in the world, so I'm breathing heavily. And I literally cannot catch my breath, and I start vomiting immediately. I know it's disgusting, but this is just what happened. I start vomiting immediately, and I go blind. I can't see anything anything i run into a car over here as they're continuing to throw explosions all around me i run into a car and someone was nice enough to give me some water i throw it in my eyes we all keep running down there while i'm still trying to film them pushing forward throwing flashbangs throwing tear gas as soon as i get down here probably uh i don't know one fourth of a mile they start flooring the mraps they start running towards us they start arresting people. So I start running down this road, and I run into a neighborhood. They chase me into a neighborhood. And inside the neighborhood, over the houses, they're throwing tear gas into the streets of the neighborhood because a lot of people were running. And by the, the way, neighborhood. those are very flammable. You're not supposed to do that. That's a big news issue. That's what probably burned down Waco. Uh, wow, you're saying they were shooting those over houses. They were shooting them over houses into the neighborhood. So I'm running through the neighborhood still vomiting completely blind i cannot see anything and uh luckily enough i found someone in a car i actually ran into the car and it was a vice reporter she let me into the car hi i'm shane steiner a lot of you have been following my progress using super male vitality the last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience i was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays and none of the supplements that i was taking were doing any good that's when my longtime friend from high school alex jones introduced me to super male vitality i was a little skeptical at first not only would i have the energy to work out and go to the gym but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body uh, a lot more rapidly my whole mood my libido everything had completely changed the concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was going to lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. It's real. Super Male Vitality. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. We're back. Josh Owens, InfoWars.com, reporter and cameraman. He was at Bundy Ranch, you name it. What an exciting and dangerous job it is now. I've been through a lot of this stuff myself, but it's time for me to start going out on some more of these as well, just so I'm even. Can't let all the young bucks have all the fun. So you're, you're running through neighborhoods now. I saw some of that HD footage you sent us, so I guess even though you were vomiting and stuff, uh, I, I'm guessing it's you because, I mean, it came in from your box of the HD footage. It looks eerie like out of a movie. Men in black uniforms marching, smoke, trees lining little neighborhood. Uh, so you're there. You run into this Vice car, Vice magazine, Vice HBO. You get in a car with a reporter. Now watch it. You got a girlfriend, Josh. Tell us what else happened next. So I jump in the car. I'm still, I'm opening the door to continue throwing up because I don't want to throw up in this nice woman's car. I can't see anything. And we try and pull out of the neighborhood because I think we're in a car now. They're going to let us out. We try to pull out of the neighborhood. They start shooting flashbangs at the car as we're trying to pull out. 
So we floor it through the neighborhood. There's no other way out of, out of the neighborhood except these two two exits, both blocked off. And any cars that come by the exits, they're shooting flashbangs at the car. They're arresting reporters. So if I walked out, they would have arrested me. So we sit there for about 30 minutes. I still cannot see anything. And finally, we see them pull out to this other exit over here, and we floor it out of there and go down um, this street, and I meet up with the guys down there. And like you said, I was at Bundy Ranch. Um, we uh, were detained in San Antonio for trying to uh, catch Bo Bergdahl coming in. Uh, the NSA facility, they tried to threaten us and take our footage. This is the most surreal experience of my life to this day. What's your gut tell you is coming tonight? My gut says that tonight it's going to be worse. I don't know if that's true, but my gut is saying that tonight uh, people are, are pissed off about what happened last night. They kept being pushed and pushed and pushed, and then they were attacked. Um, I think a lot of reporters are scared now because they don't feel like they have carte blanche to stand on the side of the street and report, which a lot of them were standing there because they thought they were going to be left alone. So I think tonight uh, it's going to get worse. Well, it's all about power and control, but the government is now illegitimate at so many levels. And I don't want the breakdown of legitimacy. I wish the government would pull up, but people are sick of the lies, they're sick of the fraud, and more force is not the answer. I wish this could be de-escalated. Uh, de and you guys have already gotten incredible footage. I want you guys to stay off to the side tonight and in back of the other reporters, because, I mean, you've already been up front. I don't want you. I want you guys to really try to stay safe up there. We'll obviously bail you out, like I did, Rob. Do if you get arrested, we'll sue them and we'll win, like we won that settlement that we're not allowed to talk about. But we don't want to win settlements. You know, we have to sue because we have to show we're in the right. But quite frankly, I don't want to mess with it. Uh, but if they arrest any of you guys or keep attacking you. We probably could win a lawsuit right now with Biggs getting shot if we can prove they targeted him on purpose. I was watching Jakari's videos where he's like, hey, stop it. And, you know, He said they were shooting at him because they knew he was a reporter. I mean, is that what you witnessed? Yeah, yeah. And I, I honestly, I think the reason they were trapping people into this neighborhood is because I think they saw reporters go in the neighborhood. And I don't think they wanted people to leave with the footage that they had. Well, I mean, obviously they're on tape saying, please turn your cameras off and grabbing Al Jazeera's cameras. And shooting rubber bullets at them. I mean, that, uh, think about that. Exactly. Uh, I mean, they are trying to kettle everybody. So, I mean, they're so dumb. They don't know Al Jazeera was transmitting that footage out. I mean, don't they understand? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Well, like you said earlier, if there was an old, if, you know, if this was the old West and there was an old West, West sheriff out here that came out and talked to people face to face like they were humans, then you know what? A lot of these people, they don't come out here. Uh, wanting to incite violence, at least the last couple of nights that we've been here, they come out here peaceably, and then these um, these police come up in tanks, pointing guns at people. If you can see in that B-roll that I sent, they were pointing a gun at me. Oh, I saw gun, that. At the, car. the guy's on the top of the, the armored vehicle, aiming it right at your camera. I mean, what a punk. You understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? Well, Rand Paul has come out in a Time Magazine piece saying we must demilitarize the police. Even the New York Times and Washington Post and others, Wall Street Journal have been saying that as well. 400 armored vehicles, 500 aircraft, 93,000 machine guns given to local police just this year so far. Pentagon weaponry confirmed in St. Louis County. Yeah, now, those are the MRAPs from Iraq. Missouri cops gas news crew we've been showing this incredible footage and our own reporters were there hit with rubber bullets flash banged they're on the tape by, by al jazeera running away and they say on the tape that i mean our video they say in a woman's voice just like in a science fiction movie please report to the local fema camp they're like please stop filming now stop filming now and they just open fire and then they target reporters chasing them into the neighborhoods. And they're on footage going up and you know throwing down and smashing the Al Jazeera camera crew. And then going into McDonald's in, in broad daylight. Who are you? Because they see press. They walk over. I'm with the Washington Post. Yeah! Slam their head in the wall. I mean, this is all on video. Who are you? 
Oh, I'm from the Washington Post. And then, I mean, I, I mean, this is what's going on. And now they're programming into all the new phones globally, kill switches and kill switches and all your appliance and your car, all of it wired through the threat fusion centers that are the federalization centers. This has all been planned, folks, all been planned. I tell you, they want to start a civil war. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.